Hello guys, welcome to the second part on the discussion of a simple curve. Again, it's me, Jay. I am a civil engineer and I am also an engineering professor. Now, in this video, we will try to apply the formula that we derived during the first part of this discussion. So, if you missed the first part of this lesson, I posted the link in the description below. Okay, so I have an example here. A simple curve connects two tangents, AB and BC, with bearing north 85 degrees 30 minutes east and south 68 degrees 30 minutes east, respectively. If the stationing of the vertex is 4 plus 360.2 and the stationing of PC is 4 plus 288.4, so we determine the following, first the radius, then the external distance, the middle ordinate, the chord distance, the length of curve, stationing of PT, and the degree of curve using chord bases and arc bases. So we have several questions in this problem, but the first thing we do here is of course to draw the simple curve. Now, according to the problem, we have two tangents, and these are tangent AB and tangent BC, and each tangent here has a bearing, okay, in which AB has a bearing of north 85 degrees 30 minute east. So, therefore, if this is our compass, again, the north meridian and the south meridian, and this east, and this west so north 85 degrees 30 minutes east this is on the first quadrant of our compass so on the northeast quadrant so we have um, this tangent line again this is a to b and then we have tangent line bc which has a bearing of south 68 degrees 30 minute east now take note southeast is on the fourth quadrant at this point. So from B, if this is our compass, south, east, so therefore we have this tangent here which is B to C. But don't forget to label the bearing which is we have here 85 degrees 30 minutes and we also have bearing here south to east which is 68 degrees 30 minutes east. Now this A here, we take that as the beginning of our simple curve. So therefore that is the point of curvature or PC. And see here, and let's say this is our end of our simple curve or that is PT or the point of tangency. Then we can now connect PC and PT using the arc of a circle. Then we have this curve. So this is our simple curve in which we know that this is tangent and this is the radius, correct? Now the first question here is determine the radius of our simple curve. Now take note, we are lacking of at least one value of our um, simple curve element, correct? We cannot compute radius here if we have a given value for tangent since from the formula, T is equal to R tangent I over 2. So I have derived this one during the first part of this discussion. Now we have to know the value of our T so that we can compute for the R. But we should also not forget the value of our I which is the, um, the angle of intersection. So let's determine T and I here first. So we have we have um, other given value here, which is the vertex of our curve has a station of four plus three sixty point two. So at the vertex here refers to PI, okay, the point of intersection, which has a station of four plus three sixty point two. So what does it mean? Now four here stands for thousand. 
Okay? So that means station PI is 4,360.2 from the first station. Okay? And we also have PC here. The station of PC is 4 plus 288.4 or that is 4,288.4 from the first station. So we have 4 plus 288.4. Okay, that's our station for our PC or at point A. So we can now compute for our T here, which is just basically the difference between B, station B and station C. Okay, so therefore... Tangent here is equal to 4,360.2. Again, this is the station at B minus the station at PC, which is 4,288.4. And this gives us the value of our tangent here, which is equal to 71.8 meter. So we have this tangent here, which is 71.8 meters. And the back tangent here is 71.8 meters as well. So 71.8 meter. Again, this is the value of our tangent line. Both the backward and the forward tangent. Okay, so we have computed for the T. So it's now time to compute for our I or the angle of intersection. So I here is the central angle. That's the angle between radii. That's I. And I is also the angle of intersection between two tangents. Now, if we extend the back tangent, so the angle here is the bearing of tangent AB. Okay? Now, the bearing here is 85 degrees 30 minutes. Okay? So, we can now compute for the I. I here is this angle, the angle of intersection. Okay, but we know that the angle from the north to south meridian is 180 degrees. That is one half of revolution. Okay, that is 180 degrees. So therefore, our I there is basically equal to 180 degrees minus 85 degrees 30 minutes minus 68 degrees 30 minutes. And this would give us 26 degrees. Okay? So therefore, our central angle here is 26 degrees. So we cannot compute for the radius using this formula. T is equal to... Now we have already the value of T. T is 71.8 is equal to R, unknown. Tangent of I is 26 degrees over 2. And we have R is equal to 71.8 over tangent of 26 divided by 2 is equal to 13 degrees. Correct? And this would give us the value of our radius which is equal to 311 meters. So we have R here or the radius of our simple curve which is 311 meter. So this is quite large. That means we have a smoother simple curve curvature. Okay, so hindi siya abrupt masyado ang ating um, curve. But we need to verify that by computing the degree of curvature or D. So again, this is our first question. For the second question, we determine the external uh, distance. Okay, external distance again, that is the distance from PI to the midpoint of our curve. Okay, that's the E or the external distance. And in, uh, in the first part of this discussion, we derive the formula for external distance, which is E is equal to R times second I over 2 minus 1. So by using this formula, we have E is equal to R. Our R here is 311 times second of 26 divided by 2 minus 1. And this is in degree. So we have E is equal to, now take note, we do not have a second in our calculator. So therefore, we convert that into cosine. 
So we have 3 111 times 1 over cosine of i over 2, which that is 13 degrees, correct? Minus 1. And this would give us the value of our e, which is equal to 8.181 meters. And that is the distance from pi to the midpoint of our curve. Okay? So that is our second question. So if you, again, if you forget the formula, so I would suggest that you should know how to derive this formula by just using trigonometry or a geometrical approach. Okay? So you may not memorize this formula. You can just actually use some of trigonometric functions in this problem. So then the third question is determine the middle ordinate. Okay, or the M. Now, middle ordinate is the distance from the midpoint to the midpoint of our chord. Okay, that's the M or the middle ordinate. Okay, so therefore, we have C over 2 here and C over 2 on the side of the forward tangent. So, from the first part, we derive the formula for middle ordinate, which is M is equal to r times 1 minus cosine of i over 2. So we have m here is equal to our r is 311 times 1 minus cosine of 26 degrees divided by 2. And this would give us the value of our m which is 7.971 meters. Okay, so that is the length of our m. So we are done with, with middle ordinate, so let's now compute for the chord distance. The chord distance is the length of the line that connects PC and PT, and we have here C. Okay, so we have the formula again from the first part, we derive this one. We have C is equal to 2 R sine of I over 2. In which we have C is equal to 2 times R is 311 sine of 26 divided by 2. That would give us 139.92 meters. So this is the length of the line that connects A and C or PC and PT. Next question is determine the length of curve. Okay. Or the length of this curve here this one so we have the formula again that is we have lc is equal to ri times pi over 180 so we have lc is equal to r r is 311 times i here is 26 degrees times pi over 180 degrees you can cancel out degree and the remaining unit is in radian. So we have LC here which is equal to 141.127 meters. Okay, so this is now the answer for the length of the curve. The next question is determine the stationing of PT. So to determine the station PT here, so we just add the length of the curve and the station at PC. Okay, so station at PT is equal to 4288.4 plus the length of the curve which is 141.127. This would give us 4429.527 meters or that is 4 plus 429.527. So this is the station at PT. Next question is determine the degree of curve using chord bases and arc bases. So let's compute first using chord bases. So we have by chord bases, we have already um, derived this one on the first part. So again, if you missed the first part, I posted the link in the description below. So we have R is equal to 
10 over sine d over 2. Okay? Since we are looking here for d, so we cross multiply. We have sine d over 2 is equal to 10 over r. Correct? So we have d over 2 is equal to arc sine of 10 over r. And thus we have d is equal to 2 arc sine of 10 over r where r here is 311 so we have d here which is equivalent to 3.685 degrees okay that is for chord basis for arc basis again the only difference between arc and chord basis is that in chord basis we are letting here the 20 meter distance between station to station as the chord length whereas in arc basis we let the 20 meter distance between station to station as the arc of our circle okay so we have the equation for r which is equal to 1 1 45.916 over d okay so we have d is equal to 1145.916 over r d is equal to 1145.916 divided by our r here is 311 this would give us 3.685 degrees now as what you can see here we have the same answer with a chord basis degree of curvature but sometimes they have a minor error lang or a slight error but sometimes these two have the same degree of curvature okay so that ends our example for simple curve so i hope that you have learned a lot guys thank you for listening but please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell Thank you guys and have a great day.